If you're looking to change the way your USB microphone sounds, maybe you want it like this, maybe you want it with a bit more bass in there, or you might even want it to sound like this. If you do, then this tutorial is for you. First of all, we want to go to the Foxengo website, and we will link this in the description below. If you are a Windows user, download the bottom one. If you are a Mac user, install the one on the right hand side. When it comes to installing the software, just click next, next, next. You don't need to do anything special with this. And now load up your OBS. If you add yourself an audio input and put your microphone in there, right click on your microphone and click on filters. In the bottom left, we want to click on the plus and we want to select the VST 2.x plugin. You can give it any name that you want and in the drop down, click on Marvel GEQ. Once you've selected that, click on open the plugin interface. You will find yourself an EQ board where you can manipulate the sound from your microphone. Our microphone is set as default at the moment, so we've made no changes to the plugin whatsoever. We have all these dials, which if we want to completely take the bass out of our voice, we can drag these down. If we want ourselves a bass boost, we can knock all these up to the top. But if you're unsure when it comes to EQ, you have got some presets installed on here. So if we go to the little downward arrow and we click on that, we go to session bank. So we've got a few that we can choose from. If we select the ultra bass boost, the dolls on our left hand side have gone near the top of the screen, which means it puts more bass into our voice. What we tend to go with is brighter and bassy, which basically increases the low ends, slightly increases the high ends as well and it just makes your voice sound much better than it would if you just used a USB microphone with any kind of EQ on there. What I would recommend is that you start off with the presets that are already installed on there. You may find that something like brighter and bassy may do a good enough job for you and you don't need to tweak anything else and you will get yourself better sounding audio than what you would with a USB microphone straight out of the box. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, give us a like and hopefully we will see you in the next one.